Today we are going to touch down to Abuja. We are going to fly from Asaba International Airport to Namdiaziki Way local wing in Abuja, the federal capital territory of Nigeria. So, but it doesn't end there. We are going to do some little exploration. When it comes to you know arrival at Abuja, we are going to explore the train station down to the central area or down to near Stadium Abuja. So you stick back and uh, observe and watch what we are going to present to you today. This is quite a different thing altogether. And, uh, I want us to learn and we are going to learn from what is happening at the FCT, the headquarters of uh, Nigeria. So we are going to fly with airpiece that is our popular demand and um, well uh, some might want to ask why I use the Asaba International Airport. Well I live in Asaba, that's where I am but uh, I do shuttling to Anambra majority. So we are taking off now, moving to Abuja. In the next 45 minutes or thereabout, we are going to be in Abuja. So now we are the Asaba International Airport runway about taking off. So we may be cruising at about 400 kilometers per hour, 500 or thereabouts. Though it depends on the the type of uh, airline. Mama propeller airline or airplane might be going at that speed. While some on the average moves at uh, 800 kilometers per hour, very fast movements, 
<laughs> and uh, if you are talking about the military jets, military planes, you'll be talking about something around 2,000 or 3,000 kilometers per hour. Very fast movements. So as we are going, I will be giving you guys some important things that you need to know about the places we are at every point in time, if there is need. Thank you. So we are ascending now, and uh, we are moving towards Onicha as usual. So from there, the airplane, we now have a turn and face Abuja route. So now we are descending bit by bit and uh, looking out through the window you will see the pattern of buildings is well structured. If you look out closely you will see that the structures are well patterned and um, that tells you that uh, we are in Abuja. So, but let's descend the more so you can have a clearer picture of the environment.
yes, uh, this part of uh, runway or the part of the uh, road here is, you know, cracked. Everywhere is cracked, though there is no pothole, but that's a sign of uh, weakness. Probably there may be need to scrape it off and uh, replace them. That, of course, that's how you know uh, um, asphalt, original asphalt. It may even crack, but <laughs> it will not remove. That's exactly how you know the original asphalt. You know the weight and the size of the plane that moves on it on daily basis, but it is still in place. And these are the type you can see abroad where you see road crack, but there is no portal on it. Okay, now we are now at uh, Namdeskiwe International Airport, Abuja. You can see planes, jets, you know, uh, private jets, all packed, waiting to pick passengers or dropping passengers. So now we've just uh, disembarked from uh, the airplane that is airpiece that brought us and uh, we are moving to the arrival section to pick our items. So this is the arrivals and uh, we are leaving this place. So now, next thing is to use the internal train. That's the one they call tram. <laughs> no, tram is the one that uh, operates within the city. So we are going to use the tram. So we can see how the Abuja train operates. No, this is a wonderful development. In fact, I think uh, some states need this kind of arrangement where the train station is very close to the airport, just within the airport premises, and uh, it will take you to your destination within the city. Like I myself, I am going towards central area no, um, close to, in fact, the Abuja Stadium Terminal. That's where I'm going. So that's the nearest point to where I'm going. Though I'm going to still use vehicles to move to wherever I'm going. That's why vehicles, you see, road. Road is vital and road is uh, very, very important when it comes to transportation even if you like you fly even if you like you use train anytime or you know, anywhere you stop you must use road to get to your destination so any city that cares or any state that cares about development must not joke with road 
and also build road for the future. Like uh, an Ambra State, you know, where the Ambra State Airport is located, also we be in the need of this kind of uh, operating train. Well, the government might decide to give it a thought to have a train station close to the airport, even though there is plans to have railways, you know, reinvented in Anambra State <laughs> by the governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soluto. So, but until then, when that thing is done close to that airport, where he is going to help a lot. So, once passengers disembark, if you like, you can use train straight to Oka or use train straight to Onicha or Newe. Depends on where you are going. And it's going to encourage passengers coming through. Anambra State Airport. Well, I don't know what you think about it, but this is my thought anyway. So now we are looking at the train station. You can see the walking distance. I just walked from the airport, and this is the train station, the airport terminal. That is the airport terminal of the train station. So we are going close to it, and you can see how beautiful it is. Well, standard and beautiful structures are very nice when it comes to government development, government structures in a city. There's no doubt about that. So by my left down there is the international wing of uh, Namdazgi Airport. As by the left there. So what we are taking right to the train station. Look at it, airport station. So you can see it, very beautiful. We are moving inside to take a little look around the environment. Yes, another important and the good thing that is happening at this uh, train station for now is that you don't pay a dime. You don't pay a dime from this airport the next terminal is Basanjiwa from Basanjiwa to Idu the next terminal is Idu after Idu terminal the next one is Wupa Wupa is the next one after Wupa then after that the next terminal is uh, Kukwaba Kukwaba one or Kukwaba two first as we are going like this before Kukwaba one terminal. After Kukwaba one, you get to stadium. After stadium, the last terminal is Abuja Metro. So that is the route for now. And the government has made it free since since uh, july this year since july it has been free and from uh, what is written here it was uh, started operation in 20 or it was commissioned on 29th may 2024 but uh, as i learned till 31st of december this year it remains free. Then anything after that first of December and enters next year, 
it becomes commercialized. So for now, people are free to come and stay and move to wherever they are moving. Then another important thing you need to know is uh, the timing. There is um, 8 a.m. movement. There is a 10 a.m. movement. Then afternoon, there is a 3 p.m. movement. And there is a 5 p.m. movement. That is their schedules on daily basis. So I myself, well, I'm not uh, so much in a hurry. And I still want to experience the real movement in Abuja as I'm showing you. And that is what we are known to do at Younger Life channel here. So sit back and enjoy Abuja, what you need to know and what you need to see concerning Abuja. And I hope you are enjoying the view. So this is the waiting room and that is the ticketing office. Everything is ready when the time comes for payment. And I believe that the government has done well for not collecting a dime for six months. And the operation is being managed. This rail station is being managed by the Chinese in conjunction with the Chinese people. So you will not be surprised if you see Chinese at uh, different intervals of the train station. But I don't know how long the Chinese will remain here. And uh, I want to also believe that they are, they are life partner of this project. <laughs> if not, you know now. What happened in 1960 might still happen again. As I know, there was a time our railway stations were very, very functional. No, at a point, many of them collapsed. So we are now moving towards the train to board the train. So inside the train is very cool, honestly, very, very cool and uh, the place is fully with AC. I tell you, the AC here is wonderful and the train is very clean and uh, neat. Well, um, I forgot to tell you, if you want to come here, you must flash your ID card to the authorities in charge of the area, the terminal. As you are coming in, you want to board at that waiting room, you must flash your ID card so that you will, they will allow you to enter. That is a very important information and uh, they will verify your ID card. If not, they will not allow you to enter without ID card. So it doesn't matter where you are working, whether government or not. All you need to do is to flash them your ID card so they can verify it and allow you to proceed. <laughs>
so this is the first uh terminal we are meeting and this is uh, basanjiwa terminal after basanjiwa then you we'll get to idu and that is the way the terminals are all of them they have the same structure so this chinese guy you saw here that is how they were positioned at every terminal you must see at least two of them one two three of them at every terminal standing like that So this is the do terminal. I believe that this terminal is quite different from the other one we first met. This is the do the do terminal. Quite bigger and uh, larger. And see it. This is the do terminal. And uh, passengers are about to disembark. Why some we enter?
So me, I've arrived at uh, my own terminal where I will disembark. This is Stadium Terminal, Stadium Station. So I'll be leaving from here. It is called Stadium because Stadium is not far from here. Stadium is just a, a stone throw from here. And you know, Stadium is not far from the main city gate of Abuja. So we are now disembarking and we are now inside the terminal, leaving the premises. Also, the Wonderland is not far from here. You know, all these places are almost at the same place. Look at the Wonderland here, Abuja Wonderland. That is where people used to go for sightseeing and the rest of them. Just like uh, the fun city that uh, Soludo is building in Oka. You know, some people knows about it very well, the Wonderland. It's not a new thing, it has been there for long. So, we are going to move down a bit. <laughs> but they said abroad, the same thing, uh, people don't pray for themselves. Uh, they don't pray. So, how do they say it? Self? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, yes, I think uh, some places are free. Uh, why some you are supposed to pay, sort of? So we are now strolling down to, or strolling up to where we will now take off to our various destinations. Me, yeah, I'm going towards the uh, Otako area. That's where I'm going. So if I come out here, I will just find my way to Otako, or first of all, go to Bega. From Bega, I moved down to Otako. Then um, I don't want to use Uber, just our normal usual movement with uh, taxis.
Looking back, this is the stadium terminal of the train station. Yes. So now, um, we are going to have a look at uh, the stadium. Look at Abuja Stadium down there. That thing, you know, it is uh, close to the the main boil of the stadium. It was Obasanjo that built that stadium, if I'm not mistaken. I know it was during Obasanjo that they built it. So now we are about to take off from here down to Bega. One thing you respect Abuja is the area of uh, spacious road, neat road, and uh, um, cleanliness. Though it's bigger than built Abuja road, so you what do you expect? Everywhere is standard. Bega is bigger. There is no two ways about it. If you observe, there is a parking space at every edge of the road. That parking space is not part of the road. Okay? It's not part of the road. And every road majorly appears large like this. That's why I, I keep saying, and it's not a bad idea, if, and we are supposed to, <laughs> You know, in our various states, let me use a number as an instance. We are supposed to count some rows that should be like this. I'm not saying that it should be at Abuja standard, but at least some roads should appear like this.
so to prevent those cracks what they, they they do now is to dig the hole for the tree then they will cast it they will cast the hole around a deep deep maybe they can cast it like uh, one meter or two meters deep so that the root will not come up to destroy the coal tars the tars the root cannot come up to destroy them you know it's because the major road has a very strong base that's why the root has not affected it but these walkways are not as strong as the major road so but maybe if the trees are allowed to grow more at a point it might start affecting the major roads that the vehicles are using so this place you can see how spacious and large walkways are supposed to be somebody can even ride bicycle here I don't know if they have special bicycle lane, but I don't think it is. But here now, people can ride bicycle. And this alongside, you know, walkways. So far, the person is careful. But modern times, they provide bicycle lanes separately. Different from walkways and motorways. <laughs> So we are going to trek up to that uh, Arab Junction. We are going to trek up to Arab Junction. We want to have a better and a critical look of this place. This is our family all over way in you know, Otaku. when we frequently visit Abuja he must come down this side to enter bus going to the east that is the area of Tako Jabi those areas are where the terminals bus terminals that goes to the east is located talk of uh, peace mass transit talk of uh, facing a chichisco and uh, a lot of them they have their bus terminals here <laughs>
So that is it. Road comes with walkways, and walkways has standard. Walkways are not just to provide one little one meter size of uh, this thing, and uh, you say that uh, is walkway. Walkways are supposed to be a bit spacious. This one are quite big, but at least a spacious place for pedestrians to walk freely that is walkway and every road in the city is supposed to have a walkway just like we are seeing so this tree planting is an error they did not cast the ground before planting the tree and you see, if you can see it has affected the whole walkways and still be affecting more as you can see the root of the trees the way they show up so it is a very big error a very big error that can still be corrected immediately the immediate correction is to cut down all those trees remove them and uh, do the correcting and uh, replant them if they wish
So now we are nearing the end of this video, but not yet at the end. We still have some minutes to round up. And uh, this is Younger Life channel, and uh, your presenter is Chinedu. For now, this is uh, part one of this video of Abuja. Another part is still coming your way. Hopefully, by the grace of God, you still see another part. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I urge you to finish up the video. Until I come your way next time, I say bye for now.